This is Jerry Warner, and he's in trouble. Behind that door, a decision is being made, an important decision that may affect Jerry's whole future. Boy, I never thought I'd be sitting here like this. Sure, I knew other kids who'd been suspended from school and all the trouble they had, but I never thought it'd happen to me. Well, so they suspend me. So what? That's okay, too. The other kids will still think I'm a pretty big man, only it is going to be a lot of bother. How come I got into this mess anyway? How come? Who do they think they are anyway? Just because they're bigger, they think they can tell everybody what to do. Make me feel like a real punk so my friends can laugh at me. What's the difference if I did run? It's a silly rule anyway. And I didn't hurt anybody. Nobody's gonna tell me what to do. Those two characters made me look pretty silly, all right. Well, I'd show everybody what I think of that sissy stuff. It's not hard to make somebody else look silly either. I didn't really want to fight that guy. I was only clowning. But everybody was watching me, and I couldn't back out, could I? They'd think I was chicken. Mom called the whole thing a storm in a teacup. After all, boys will be boys, she said. It wasn't as if I'd done anything terrible. Just a little fight. Sure, the school has a rule against fighting. And when you come right down to it, I did start the whole thing. I guess I was in the wrong. But Mom was on my side. So what could I lose? Still, I suppose she had to agree to letting them discipline me. But one week on the trash detail, boy, especially in the girls' section, that was really humiliating. The other kids are probably laughing their head off and at my expense. And then another lecture, just because I got an F in a home assignment. Well, so what? It's not the school grades that matter. But whether or not you're popular, isn't it? That's the way to be somebody rather than nobody. The most important thing, and I'd show them. I'd show them that I was somebody, not afraid of anything. I'd show them a real stunt. I wanted all of them to look up to me, not to laugh at me. call all right and I was scared it really was a dumb thing to do but I had to play it through didn't I here it comes another lecture someone else to tell me do this and don't do that even after school The policeman said that I put myself in danger, as well as setting a bad example. I got away with it this time with just a warning. 
And I was sure the kids were impressed that I wasn't afraid. The kids were impressed, all right. Anyway, some of them were. I wondered what all the others thought. Most of them didn't belong to my gang, of course. They thought that getting good grades and obeying the rules were the things to do. Sure, they'd sometimes watch when I did a stunt or something and laugh. I'd sometimes wonder if they were laughing with me or at me. Anyway, I was pretty sure my own group, even though it was a small one, thought I was a big man. That Carol, she was pretty impressed with me, all right. She's okay, only... I wonder if she's really the kind of girl I could go for. It may be just that... Well, she's always around. She isn't really that good looking either, only kind of flashy. And it's certainly true that she isn't very smart. I guess the teacher was right when he told her that you can't keep your mouth and your mind open at the same time. And Carol certainly does talk a lot in class. Maybe the fellows of the gang weren't the greatest, but I didn't want to be left out. Like when the guys wanted to stop and fool around at Dino's. I knew very well that I was supposed to go straight home from school, but I just couldn't refuse. I knew I was doing the wrong thing, but I guess it was more important to be accepted by the guys than anything else. I was very late getting home, all right. Mom was real angry with me. I guess I had it coming. Mom said I was grounded and had to stay home Saturday. And it wasn't any fun to have to tell the kids that I couldn't go with them after all. They knew why, and I felt I was losing my reputation for being a big man. That's when I got my big idea. I really wanted to show them. I guess I have a good idea now why I'm sitting here in this fine mess. It wasn't just the one thing. I'd been wrong in a lot of things. I guess I just wasn't too sure of myself, but I wanted to belong. And so I tried to play the big man by showing off and by refusing to listen to anyone with authority. Most of the other kids were getting along with authority okay, and it did seem to pay off for them. But everyone has a boss. I guess it's about time I learned that too. Jerry wanted to be accepted and liked and admired by his friends. But all his showing off and rebellion really just accomplished the opposite in the long run. Playing the big man, he had even placed himself and others in danger and created trouble for his friends. But he was hurting no one nearly as much as he was hurting himself. Well, he had called the tune. Now he had to face the music. But perhaps it wasn't too late. He had been wrong. He knew that now. Perhaps he would get another chance. Jerry did get another chance. He had taken an honest look at himself and had come up with some good answers. If he's smart enough to act upon them, then he is taking the first step toward growing up. 